Hey, hey, what's up, guys? My name is Clay Cook, and today we are going to go over color grading and how I color grade. So I've gotten a ton of inquiries and a ton of comments of people like, hey, man, how do you color grade your images? So we're going to go through that uh, real quick in this two-parter, uh, one being a real in-studio, dramatic, one-light portrait with my buddy Steve Squall here for my Oliphant Portrait series. And then secondly, a really earthy, warm, ethereal, natural tone um, that I shot with this uh, for this fashion editorial for The Voice. So we're going to hop right into it. Um, first and foremost, this might not work for, you know, your weddings or engagements or anything like that, but it definitely, I guarantee you, will work for your more dramatic images such as bands, portraits, uh, artists, or fashion. This is without the color grading right here. It's, it's pretty good right out of camera. Um, we're just going to take it up a notch with color grading, and I do it in a three-step process, sometimes four. Um, three steps being desaturate and then color it with curves and then I mess with the shadows and the final steps with levels so we'll get right into it with hue saturation and I really desaturate the image so I go down to almost negative 40 about halfway in between black and white and color really desaturate the image and then I create another adjustment layer for curves so I go up here create that adjustment layer and I want to go to each individual channel and I want to take out the reds and bring in uh, the blues and the green so I just slightly bring down the reds a little bit about right there and the green just bring down the green a little bit too much green right right there right about there and then I go to the blue I like the warmth so about right there with the blue so you can see it's just very subtle, just very, very subtle adjustments. And then next I go to the levels, create a levels um, layer adjustment. And then I go to the blue channel and I want to bring blues in the shadows about right there. And then bring back some warmth in the highlights just to even out the skin tone a little bit. And there we go. So three part series or three part system for color grading it's really easy I finish it off by doing the sharpening technique that I shared a couple weeks ago it's Calvin Hollywood's technique for sharpening with blur it's an amazing technique that you should check out I'm gonna put a annotation in the bottom right corner of this video so you can uh, check out that tutorial that I posted okay next up we're gonna go to this image of uh, this real natural light portrait I did for the voice. Uh, this is a four part color grading uh, system here that I use. It's desaturated curves, color with curves. Um, I finish it off with levels and finally a color fill. So this is without the color grading right here. And first step is the same thing create a hue saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to desaturate it to about negative 15, negative 20 because I want to keep the color. I don't want to go real crazy like I did in the uh, more dramatic portraits of uh, all the Oliphant series. And then uh, next up is the curves. So I color it with curves. So what we're going to do is just bring up the reds a little bit here. And then go to green and almost create an S curve with the, with the greens because I want the contrast there. About right there. And then with the blue, same thing. A little bit more of an S curve with the blue. And then we go to levels. And I always hit the blue channel. I don't really mess with the green or red on levels. Um, bring a little bit of blue in the shadows and then really bring back this warmth in the highlights there. So as you can see, it changes the sky, it changes the grass and the whole tonality of the entire image. Mm -hmm. And finally, we're going to finish it off with going down here and creating a new fill. Um, we're going to create a solid color fill. Um, and we're going to go to like a real brown gold, almost like a gold feel. So around here, um, it looks about right, maybe a little brighter, about right there. And then we're going to change the blending mode to hard light. And then we just bring down the opacity to about... Uh, about seven or eight percent 
So I believe that's that looks pretty good. Again, there here it is with uh, without the grating, and then with the grating, and then I finish it off by sharpening it. Um, again, sharpening with blur, uh, made famous by Calvin Hollywood, and then um, that is it. So again, here are the two images that I just color graded. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up on Twitter or Instagram uh, at Clay Cook Photo or give me an email, info at claycookphotography.com, and I'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.